Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night and wonder if you don't have similarly sleepless friends that might be up for a game of Boggle? I know I do. Hey guys, a sort of tired Amy here with you on D News today. If you've ever woken up in the middle of the night and been unable to fall back asleep because your mind is racing with all the things you've got on your to-do list, you are certainly not alone. The middle of the night sleepless panic cycle is one some of us know all too well. But why do we wake up in the first place and suddenly go into panic mode? Panic attacks aren't simply moments of anxiety. Thinking about that deadline that's coming up a little faster than you'd like. Feeling shaky, short of breath, or dizzy can be a sign that you're having a panic attack. But there are also physiological effects to panic attacks, including an increased heart rate and vascular reactions that can lead to a tingly sensation. Panic attacks can come on completely without warning. You can be watching TV and be hit with an array of symptoms, including increased heart rate, shortness of breath, and an acute fear of dying. Our subconscious mind is a big part of the problem. After experiencing something traumatic that led you to panic, your subconscious mind can mimic that pattern and send you into panic mode once you've removed from the situation. And because panic attacks can be brought on at the subconscious level, you don't have to be awake to experience one. Panic attacks can hit when you're sleeping, sometimes sparked by dreams or nightmares that call back to the same subconscious patterns that bring panic attacks on for no reason while you're watching TV. The psychological and physical reactions, the rapid heart rate, shortness of breath, dizziness, and sweating can combine to wake you up and persist for minutes. This can start a cycle of insomnia. You worry about what will happen if you lose sleep but can't sleep, so you worry more. Being isolated in a dark, quiet room, i.e. your bedroom at night, doesn't help alleviate the sudden stress of waking up in a panic. Dealing with panic attacks isn't easy, but there are some tips and tricks to breaking the midnight insomnia cycle. Experts say that getting out of bed, getting out of your bedroom, and doing something to dispel negative thoughts until you're really tired enough to fall asleep is best. Do you guys have any tricks for dealing with those late night bouts of sleeplessness? Let us know in the comments below or you can catch me on Twitter as AST Vintage Space. And don't forget to subscribe for more D News every day of the week.